Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm giving you guys a get ready with me game day edition. We're doing hair, makeup, and outfits. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so I'm starting off with moisturizing my scalp using the Neo Curly um, hair oil. I love this oil because it's so nourishing to my scalp. And I am brushing my hair back with this got to be glue because, you know, we don't want our baby hairs getting ripped up by the wig. So we got to brush them hairs back. And I know, I know y'all see all this deodorant under my arm. But baby, I need 12 plus layers when it's going into a game day where I'm going to be there for hours and hours and hours. So here my wig. Shout out Unit Gang by Ashley Nicole. I put on my flesh tone wig cap and I just kind of brushed down my like little baby hairs on the corners because it's just a closure wig and I use my Fenty Beauty um, foundation powder like their um, yeah powder foundation I use that to like tint my lace a little bit and then I use my got to be glue spray sprayed it dried it a little bit so it's tacky with my blow dryer and then I placed the closure down so I added a little bit more of that powder to try and blend it as best I could. Like at the end of the day, y'all know this wig girl, so the wig is going to be wigging. So I sprayed a little bit more of my got to be to try and melt this lace. I'm not a huge lace melter, but I ain't going to lie, y'all. I think I did that. So just trust the process. I put this elastic, like waistband elastic around my head. And then I cleaned off the excess got to be glue spray. Then I went in with the NYX brow glue. I went ahead and put it on my brows so it can get tacky. And then I went in with this sunscreen from Glow Recipe. I'll link everything that I use in the description box for you guys but this gives me a nice glow with that SPF protection now I'm going back in and brushing down my brow hairs so by this time I'm gonna bounce back and forth because we trying to get ready expeditiously so I just wiped off the excess got to be glue spray took my edge booster foam mousse just to pull out my baby hairs so at this point we have set like the lace and kind of melted that down a little bit and now it's time to do the baby hairs so i took my little flat iron and i just curled my baby hairs like the tiktok girlies do and it's steaming like that because i put that foam mousse on first and then boom i just swoop and then i added a little got to be glue and i swooped that too and then i put my little silk silk my my silk edge scarf on and then I'm back to the brows. So this is my Juvia's place. I sculpt that shade brow pen. I love this because it gives me those hair like strokes. And then I like to go in with a powder just to kind of add the shadows in my brows. To conceal and clean up the brows, I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is actually in Warm Honey. So it's a little bit brighter than my normal one. But I like this because it really snatches the brows. And when y'all see the full looker, as y'all saw by the thumbnail, like we are getting glam, okay? On game days, we don't play. Like the players play, but I don't play when it comes to my outfit, my makeup, my hair, period. So now I'm taking a Q-tip to clean up this concealer. And this is a trick that I've been doing recently because it just gives you like a natural, like clean brow. It doesn't look overly done. And then of course, going in with my foundation. This is a NARS Natural Radiant Foundation to clean up the top part. I am moving kind of fast because I didn't want this video to be super long, but I took my um, liquid highlighter from Rare Beauty and just highlighted underneath. Then I'm taking my L'Oreal concealer. This time I put my nose contour directly in the center because y'all, this is a quicker and easier way to contour your nose if you didn't know. Baby hairs are laid, put the product on my forehead and then I'm taking my Halo Glow from e.l.f. and a little bit of my NARS and that's gonna be like my base foundation. Um, I took um, some Tarte Shape Tape just to go under the eyes to kind of color correct and i took my head scarf off so i can make sure i was like blending out my forehead and all that stuff so this brush is a shop miss a aoa studio brush and y'all if this i'm gonna try and order like a whole brush set from them and see if i can give y'all an updated affordable brush routine because i actually like that brush so i'm taking a lighter concealer this is my nars concealer i believe in biscuit and I use my Nimia setting mist to like spray and make sure my 
Concealer stays tacky while I apply this Rare Beauty blush. And then I just blend it out. I actually took a brush to blend out this concealer. And y'all, I still have not washed my brushes. Like, it is so bad. So, that's the next thing I got. Like, I gotta do it this weekend. Because if I don't, it's just ridiculous. So, I'm going back in with some of that Rare Beauty highlighter. Because I wanted to glow. I wanted to shine bright like a diamond. I wanted to give Rihanna halftime Super Bowl. Okay? So... This is what we're going in with. And then, of course, I use my Laura Mercier Mixed with Fine Fenty Beauty Setting Powder just because this gives me, like, that runway-like look. Like, it sets my face so beautifully, and I love it. Now, this ain't no, like, little lightweight beat, okay? This is we going in. We preparing for war. We going to a football game, okay? And, baby, we need to be sick because this makeup got to last the entire game. So, I took my Jackie Aina palette, and I think... I don't know the name of the shade off the top of my head, but I just used a brown in there. Um, and then I used another brown out of the Master Mask palette from Makeup by Mario just to give me like a subtle, like smoky, flush look. I also used like a bone shade on my brow bone instead of highlight. I'm loving the matte like brow bone highlight instead of shimmer. And then I went in with this e.l.f. Um, like eyeliner pen and this shadow stick. I've been loving doing this because it makes me look a little bit more awake. Of course, I put a little bit more of that shadow up underneath my lower lash line as well. Taking my Item Beauty blush just to intensify that blush because we wanted to give like sun kiss. Like we giving summer, summer, summer time. And so now while my little lash glue is um, drying, I wanted to go ahead and take down my flexi rods. So I literally just put my flexi rods in overnight and that's how curly my hair looks i didn't put any excess product on it or nothing these are my kiss bombshell lashes i love these lashes and i got a little bit of eye, eye glue uh lash glue up on my eyelid but that's okay because you know we all struggle sometimes with the lashes but anyway i i've worked it it all worked together for my good amen and so then i'm taking my fenty um foundation powder again and just dusting off all of this excess um, setting powder and there you go i'm rolling like my skin on top of my lash glue so it can kind of get rid of where i messed up and then i'm taking my tower 28 make waves mascara to do my lower lash mascara now we got to intensify the glow with the juvia's place this is their um loose like highlighting powder and then i set it with my elf setting spray so the face is given like get into it so I had like a lip mask on, so I'm wiping that off and all of the dead skin of my dry lips off before I start with the lips. Taking this LA Colors um, little lip liner from the hair store and I'm just lining my lips. It's just like a regular brown lip liner. Then I took this lip blaze from Lime Crime and I like this because it's such a neutral shade. I also put some lip injection from Too Faced Child. I was putting all the glosses on because I just wanted it to pop. And then I need a little bit more juiciness, so I went in with my lip oil from Milani. So now I'm taking down this last flexi rod, which is going to be like my tendrils in the front. And y'all, this was like really curly. I think this piece of hair was wet before I put the um, flexi rods in because I was washing, washing off the lace um so yeah so i think that's why it's a lot curlier than other pieces um but i'm just tightening up where i had my braids in the ponies i sprayed some got to be setting spray on my curls because i wanted the curls to last as long as possible because we were going to be outside essentially in pre-tornado weather with a lot of wind so here i'm kind of straightening out the top portion of the curls in the front of my face just so they would lay nicely then I noticed, you know, we had some flyaways, so you got to make sure you get the wig right. So I brushed out the curls a little bit to give me that volume. I didn't want to brush it too much because, like I said, they got to last all night. So I just, you know, did a little brushy brush. And then here I was like, let me switch it up. Let me give them like a party pony in the top, just one instead of the two. Because I wore the two at our previous home game. And so then I took a piece of hair and wrapped it around to hide that um, hair tie. And then I'm taking my Kiss Edge Fixer, y'all. I didn't, I couldn't find a pomade stick nowhere, so I took my Kiss Edge Fixer and put it on like my flyaways, and then use my hot comb. When I tell y'all, 
this is a holy grail that I didn't know I needed and I almost burnt myself right there um I am doing this from here on out like look at the difference like no flyaways so just put just a little bit on those flyaways of that edge fixer and then use that hot comb girl and then flyaways gonna be sitting pretty okay they not gonna come up no more and so I did this all around the perimeter of my part to just make sure everything was laying nice and flat. Then, of course, I had to go in with some more got to be spray to spray it down because, again, like I said, we're going to a football game. It's a lot of jumping, a lot of cheering, a lot of movement, and we don't want them flyaways flying away. So I did put a little bit of that um, edge fixer at the front to really, like, lay that piece down because again it was kind of like twisted back with the flexi rod so i just wanted to make sure it laid as flat as possible because although it's a wig we wanted to, to give scalp too okay and so this is what the hair is looking like i put my little head scarf on so i could like lay that flat and then of course just fluff out my hair again and then that's pretty much all i do to my hair so now it's time to move on into this outfit y'all so let's get into it all right guys so i just finished my hair my makeup my makeup is giving i'm not gonna lie my makeup and now i have to put on my outfit i have already chose my outfit um i just got put on and right now i have on, i have on some like leggings because i feel like it's gonna be cold and game kickoff is at seven hurricane is on the way so like i feel like the winds is gonna be breezing i also plan on wearing like these cream sweatpants so i feel like i should have one like a black base underneath you know because we wearing almost white so i did spill a little bit of makeup on these leggings so i think i'm gonna change them out um i also have my lower base that I plan on wearing. I wore my Lorve's last game day. Let me see if I can sit this up. My window. Purr. Okay, so I wore my Lorve's last game day, but it was latte. So this game day, I think we're wearing these. It's giving kind of, they're not on my ears right now, but it's giving futuristic vibes. We got the cream going, so I think I'm gonna wear these. For earrings, I figure we could try something new. Um, I have these. I don't know if they're gonna be too much with the shades though, so let's try it. These my mom gave to me because she liked these shaped earrings. I just thought it might help tie the, the color palette in, but if not, we gonna wear my bamboo earrings. So, boom. Earrings, and I have no idea where these earrings are from, I'm so sorry, but these are earrings that my mom gave me. I already have on like a trio of necklaces. It's just this stacked AKA necklace, 1908 necklace from Etsy. And then this slimmer Shea necklace there. I've been wearing them for a long periodically time without taking them off. So they're a little twisted, but that's what he, we have on. And then I also have this like baguette like necklace. And this is from Barefoot Campus Outfitters. And of course, if y'all shop in store or online, I do have a coupon code for 15% off is slim 15. I actually don't get commission off of it. I'm just helping y'all help me help y'all. I'm trying to get y'all to save some coins. So that is, I think it's, it's matching the vibe. Okay. We got the curly cues in the front and I, right now my scarf is on so it can lay down the top of the curly cues. And then also wearing barefoot for my top. So this is a forever to the crew neck um, and it's cropped. So cut the bottom off. I actually think it came cut. Um, the location here, they will cut your shirts for you for like five bucks, depending on the cut you want. They have different cut styles that they'll do, but okay. So boom. So. We have that one. The half up, half down is 
is giving. I love it. Um, I'm actually gonna keep these pants on because I don't think the product should rub off. So these are some cream sweatpants from H&M. And we're just throwing those on. Okay, so let me see. So these are the pants. And I do, like I said, I have on leggings, so I'm trying to keep everything all tucked in so I ain't catching no breezes nowhere. Um, but these are the sweatpants from Crop Crew Neck. And then I figured let's throw, I call these the kamikazes because they look like the old kamikaze Reeboks. Not really, but kind of. Um, or Adidas, whichever one. Um, but yeah, these are my Converse, I guess kind of moon boots. And they tie pretty much everything in since I'm wearing cream, white, and black. I figured that'll tie everything together. And um, show you guys the jacket. So this is the jacket I'm wearing over top. It was $27.99 from H&M. It was on sale. It's probably last winter or probably going into spring since it was on sale. And just tossing this on. On top, bring that hair back out. Let's get the necklaces, necklace in. Take the collar out. What I'll probably do is tuck these in and just leave my 1908 hanging out. Like that. And then let's, let's take this down. Okay, purr, 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 purr. Okay, okay. So the grand reveal, let's see if we can. Hopefully, I'll try and, I'll try and take some photos or something maybe of the full outfit so y'all can see it in all its glory. But now I'm ready for game day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this different video for me. Like I normally don't do makeup, hair, and outfit. So I figured I'd switch it up and give you guys, you know, a little bit of variety. So y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all like this video and if you want more like this because tis the season, we have some more home games. So I definitely can take you guys on my get ready with me journey. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love y'all so very much. And make sure y'all don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications, all that jazz. I love y'all so very much and y'all never forget at the end of the day without regrets. Love yourself and be you, Tiffle. Bye y'all.